Hey YouTube, here I have a very nice machine. Uh, Chromebook Pixel 2014 model. At the time of its production, this was a very cool unit that with the pretty nice uh, price tag of $1,299 plus tax. Uh, it has a third generation Core i5 CPU, 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigabyte uh, onboard storage. Uh, in 2013, this was the Rolls Royce of Chromebooks, I would say. And it's still a very nice hardware, I like it. It's, it looks, looks beautiful and feels beautiful in your hand. However, uh, Google stopped supporting uh, any updates for uh, Chrome OS on this device in 2018. And uh, at that point, you were still able to install uh, cloud ready operating system on it. This is just uh, another Chrome based OS. And, uh, <clears throat> but I believe it was bought out by Google and is now no longer an option. So in order to get this computer to its full potential, basically, uh, Ubuntu, uh, Linux Ubuntu is the only way. However, if you just install uh, Ubuntu 22.04, there is an issue with the fan not working on it. So you install it, it's just kind of in the idle mode. It goes on, off, on, off, and it never revs up. And the, 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 you can feel the computer is overheating. And when it overheats, it actually, you know, the CPU is throttling, so it's not really usable. So that's one thing they need to fix when you install Ubuntu. And also two more things that that's optional. So I'm going to go over uh, with you about those. Uh, the two optional things is uh, uh, the most important one is the top row of keys. So we can enable that so we can use this top row of keys. And the other thing is like when you in a, uh, during the day that screen is kind of flickering. So you have to disable the uh, auto brightness. That's a minor one. But anyway, I mentioned that too. So need to be set. So uh, as you can see, let me put in my password in. Let's see. Okay, so as you can see, I'm running Ubuntu here. And the top row of keys is working. The brightness is working. Everything is working basically. All these keys are working. Cool. So these are back and forward, you know, if you like in the web browser. So everything is beautiful on it. And the fan is running fine. So I'm gonna go uh, real quick on how to install Ubuntu on it. Uh, let me switch the... This is not that. So... <clears throat> First of all, basically download the Ubuntu from uh, ubuntu.com and download that uh, this is the one 220403. Uh, download that um, um, image. And if you're using Mac, I use this application, really cool application, Balena Etcher. So download that, install on Mac, and just uh, select the image, select the drive, and flash it. Super easy. And you, I think you can actually use it on Windows, but I never use it on Windows. Uh, if you're using Windows, I always use Rufus. Rufus to install, to make a, a bootable drive of the, uh, of the Ubuntu. So when you're done with that, uh, you need to do some tweaks to the, to the actual Chromebook. And uh, this, there's a link on iFixit site. I am gonna link it to my description of the video. So it's it's pretty much the same, but you just you just keep the uh, the cloud ready. You know, this is just another OS. So skip the the cloud ready and go through all these steps. So you have to basically disable uh, the right protection for the BIOS chip on the Chromebook, so you can uh, install a, a loader different but basically the i'm not exactly sure what it is it's, it's kind of a bias thing because it do, does look like a bios 
So this is the so this is the steps you need to take. It's pretty pretty straightforward. The only thing is when you open it up, and uh, it it's talking it's talking here about this crew. Let me see. Yep, this actual screw. So when you uh, remove the right protect screw. Uh, this is uh, this. It's actually not the screw that's that's uh, making the uh, contact shorted there. It's actually the um, the spacer, that gold spacer underneath. So that's what you need to remove. Basically, remove the screw, remove the spacer, and you can screw. Uh, you put that back the screw. Just don't put that spacer back on, because that's that's what's making the contact there on the motherboard. So that's one thing. And after that, yeah, just follow this uh, these steps here. and skip the cloud ready USB installer. You need to enable developer mode here. It's, it's pretty straightforward basically. And then uh, uh, and then you need to run this Mr. Chromebox box script. So that's gonna that's gonna basically uh, give you an option to install full RAM firmware. It's gonna be on a on a new script. It's gonna be not a number three. It's gonna be number two, I believe. Yeah, it's gonna be number two. So <clears throat> after that, when you boot, let me switch back and uh, show you what's gonna happen after that. So after that, you open it up. Let me put my password in and restart this thing. So after, after you turn it back on, after you do all these things, put your, uh, put your flash drive in and hit escape on the keyboard. And you're gonna be prompted with this, uh, um, this, this uh, uh, screen. And basically what you need to do is just uh, choose, go to boot menu this choose the boot menu and choose the hard drive that you just created which is the sandisk u pretty titanium this has the ubuntu install files right here okay so that's that after you boot it into ubuntu you need to take care of the fan. Uh, in order for it to run properly, you need to do a couple things. Open up the terminal and type down this uh, command. I'm gonna probably add it into the description. So this is the command you need to type down. Click enter, put your password. Scroll down with your uh, uh, up and down arrows on the keyboard and type down this string. So it's not it was not here originally So you need to type this down blacklist uh, space cross underscore EC underscore LPCS Okay, type this down and click control and Hit O on the keyboard Hit enter to save this file after that hit control X to exit it and type down the second command, which is sudo update dash init remfs uh, space dash u. Click enter and wait. Wait for it to do its thing. It's gonna take a little bit. So still waiting, done. That's it. After this, you can just close the uh, terminal and restart the um, laptop, and your fan will stop. Will start. Will start. Will start working properly. In order to enable the top row of the keys, you go to this step size right here. I'm gonna add the link to my description below, and you need to copy 
this text. Put your cursor right here before the D and, and hit the shift button and arrow down. You need to keep holding the shift button and just hit an arrow down. So this is the way you basically highlight wherever you need to highlight. Okay, so that's that. Move. I think that's no, it's actually not it. So we need to get more all the way to the bottom. And in order to highlight like uh, individual things, you need to uh, arrow you keep you keep holding the shift button and just a click or left and right arrows on the keyboard okay so this is everything is hi highlighted now as you can see the whole text is highlighted so now put your cursor on one of these uh, lines two fingers click on the trackpad and click copy okay so now go back to the terminal and you need to type down this line sudo nano you uh but basically this is the line you need to type down that's the line you need to type down right here because that's the location of the file okay and x is capital right here as you can see x is capital so hit enter okay so now hit shift on the keyboard keep holding shift and and just click the uh, arrow down button all the way to the end to highlight everything now click ctrl k to cut it as you can see ctrl k to cut it so now everything is cut and now you need to paste whatever you copied there before now you need to click ctrl and u so click click backscape back space couple times so it's at the end of the and that would be it now you need to save this file which is you need to click Control o click enter okay and now Control x and you exit exit it out so after you restart after you restart the computer you should have all the top row of the keys working for you and also one more little thing, you need to enable, disable uh, the auto brightness. So it doesn't, you know, doesn't kind of, it's kind of blinks, you know, the backlights blinking and stuff. So let me, it's in power, it's under power, automatic screen brightness. So you just disable that and it's not going to, it's going to stop, stop flickering basically. The screen's going to stop flickering. So that's about it. And uh, this will get your uh, Chromebooks Pixel in fully working order and Ubuntu will run perfectly on it. So thank you very much for watching guys. If you like my videos, please subscribe. And uh, as always, have a lovely, lovely day. Bye guys.